Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. And this week we're going to look at how to use domain name forwarding. I have a lot of domain names and I don't host them all. What I do is I forward them to a domain name for sale page that I maintain on my own site. This is what the domain name for sale page looks like. To do domain name forwarding, I go to GoDaddy, which is my domain name registrar. I select all my domains, which gives me a list of domain names. And then I click domain name forwarding or domain forwarding right there. On my domain name forwarding screen, I get to see which of these domain names are forwarded to where. And you can see I've forwarded these domain names to different addresses. But let's forward another one. I'm going to forward DailyTube, which is a domain name I registered. And to forward it, I'll, I'll click on it, or I can just click the name itself. This is the domain name forwarding page. And you notice that it has forwarding here, or masking, or help. And by default, forwarding is disabled. And I'm going to enable it, and I'm going to enter the address I want to forward to and then I will click OK. When I go back to my domain control center and look at DailyTube, you'll now see that it's forwarded to the address that I gave it, bmyers.com. And what will happen is if a visitor enters DailyTube into their URL, they will be taken to the domain names for sale at my site. And that's how domain name forwarding is easy to do, and most registrars offer it for free. I'm Bill Myers. This has been my video tip of the week.